Good morning, everybody. Happy July 14th. Good morning. Very interesting energies going on around the world, as you all can feel the intensities and the contrast. We've been really present to <laughs> the contrast. We've been in complete and utter bliss and flow and beauty. And then, you know, so um, I just think we're clearing it out. And thank you all for showing up and doing this work and being in it together. What's really present for me is preparing for the 8-8. I think it's a game changer. Um, my, my inner guidance system keeps coming up more and more to what it is and how it's an arc. Like we, we move through these energies in arc ways and it's even going right after the Mayan New Year. Um, and you can explain, Michael knows a lot about that and can explain that um, kind of the day at a time, right? And July 25th is the what they consider the galactic New Year. <clears throat> Connected to the organic, not the the Gregorian calendar, the, the, the organic. So this is a huge arc we're in. There's a lot playing out. And so it's fascinating I don't know, fascinating. It's synchronistic that Pundiji picked the date he he picked without us really talking about the 888 to do th this Yagya at the house. And we're going to go three days. Three is a magical number. It builds momentum. It's quantum. Um, and how he planned the program where we're weaving the divine feminine and the, and the divine mothers with the power of Shiva and the creation and then back into the abundance was the last day is Lakshmi, you know, the thousand and eight lotuses. And he said, I I'm bringing another pundit. So we got two pundits, three days in a giant portal to prepare you for the eight, eight. And if you can get here, great. You can attend for free. Those of you who've been here and just to be in the energy and the more people that can participate The strength of this new timeline and the probabilities for you to manifest this new timeline in your life is a quantum vortex that will increase exponentially for yourself, for your family, for your community. I, I can't say it enough. It keeps coming up for me. So if you can come up and be here in person for one day, two days, three days, it's a game changer. You will, you will walk out of here not the same. And I'll put the link below when we post this on YouTube. If you can't come, you can participate remotely. I put links on the website where you can sponsor or just participate remotely. We'll live stream it. We talked to Pandaji. We have a meeting with him tomorrow. So you guys can be in the vortex of the energy. It's so important. And I just encourage everybody to really lean in and, and be able to do this energy as a group collective. We've been together for <laughs> couple years now we've been doing this work we're building the momentum and I feel like it's such an important part of our service to the planet and the earth to the animals to the plants to the people to the you know the world so um so yeah so spiritual warriors game on we're going to use the magic of the the beautiful fire and really get this going and if you know anybody that would be open to it, share this with them, please share it, communicate with it. I mean, the more people that are part of the vortex, I think the, I don't want to say better. I don't, I don't know what, what the word is, babe, but the stronger, the stronger the light can hold. I don't, I don't know. I don't have the words. I just, right. Like, I know it's, Everyone's talking about the universal water right now and the memory codes of the of the water and then all the memory codes coming back and and uh you know how it relates to our akash and it relates to our template a template or divine template, not just our physical template, water template and but our galactic template, right? And but nobody's talking about the universal fire yet. And that's coming. And everybody's talking about the elements and the importance of the elements. And we're connecting to the, the trees and na Mother Nature and 
and uh, those are the, the the planet grid, and but nobody's really talking about the. You can't really get this type of energy work outside of India. Uh, I mean, you can with some. You, know, you can do some medicine lodges, and I'm sure everyone has a certain level of. Um, you know, in every culture, there's a fire ceremony to clear and to activate. But the Vedic fire ceremonies, we're talking Shiva, <laughs> with the primordial creation. Um, and, uh, and and the one is before creation. Um, Pre-creation, yeah. Pre-creation. Pre -pre yeah, and there's, and our Saturday night program is something we've never done. And this is why he's bringing the second, not the only reason why he's bringing the second one, because just the energy of this, group can hold it another whole nother level of of responsibility for the planet and there's this we're going to have a ceremony where he has 365 candles or tea lights and he's going to create them in a uh, vedic sacred mantra. Ge sacred uh, geometry we call them tree yantras or they're yantras they're like like you see the buddhists when they're doing their little <laughs> things uh, mandalas. mandalas they're called mandalas that's it we call them yantras when they're living right and uh, he was asking me the other day, how's the wind? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, we got a, a couple of weeks, but <laughs> we'll do something to keep the wind from blowing out the candles, right? So uh, we, you, you really don't want to miss that. I mean, this is something, the only time I've ever seen this particular Yagya done, and it, I don't know how he's going to do this one, but well, this was done at, at the foot of Mount Fuji. And uh, it was done with sacred waters and and it running through like a oh it's just amazing it's amazing, it's amazing to what's going to happen how we're going to be able to participate and so and when you participate in that one lighting each candle is for each day of your life so as you're part of that sankalpa that intention that infuses light with that intention and it it's put in a sacred geometry in a grid on this land that connects you so it's I, i'm I'm beyond, beyond. I have no idea how we're going to do it and what's involved, but you know, the magic does happen. The other thing I will make a request is if you are coming, whether you're sponsoring or not, please register because we are doing a catered lunch. It's really important. You know, Pandaji is real clear about the the food and the, the re resonance and the quality and people staying in the energy. I mean, if you really need to get off the property, great, you know, take care of yourself, but we will have a meal in between the two. So you have time to integrate, to relax, to have something to eat and to be with each other, to be in meditation. You know, this property, there's plenty of places to go find a hiding spot. So, um, yeah, so he, it, it it's, it's big. <laughs> and then I think Sunday will just be magical with Lakshmi and the lotuses and the celebration and, and the, prosperity of just bestowing the gifts upon all of you for coming here and being part of it so thank you and it's just great great benefits in being a sponsor for a, a collective yagya like this it's just something that you can be a part of and you don't have to <laughs> you don't have to run everything <laughs> yeah you just sit and offer your intentions to yeah. the fire and you have to keep calling your pundit to find out what's did he get his ticket yet? <laughs> but uh, you know, it's just it's you get all the benefits without having to do all <laughs> the work. Wow. So you know, it's a great, and we're looking for some support in that. I mean, if you want to come do Save, yeah, just text yes, Michael. He's putting that list together. So Save is the best way to do it. And if you know people that are you know interested in in supporting or sponsoring these type of events, please uh, share that with your friends. And yeah. Okay. The other question I've had, and, and sorry about all the tactical practical, is some people, there's a grand sponsorship. There's You can sponsor the, each activity individually, which is a little less expensive, or you can be a grand sponsor that's a, a thousand and eight. When you do that, you're you're part of the full program and Pandaji will be in, you know, he he's aware of those people that are doing that level. So it's just we gave options, and if you can't sponsor everything, there's a button for donation. Even if you want to give twenty bucks, it's it's all or five dollars. It's we tried to put options in there for people so they can participate and and be a part of it. So um, I'm just letting somebody in here. In in India, 
we call it donations here in the West, but in India, they call it dakshina. Dakshina, and the pundits, you know, used to do things, everything based on dakshina, meaning they would just, you would ask for the service, they would come and do the ceremony, whether it be an enlightenment, whether it be for your property, whether it be for marriage, you know, whatever you were, you know, whatever you were prescribing, right, for your, for your town or for rain or whatever, right? And then when you received, whatever you received and from your heart, you would offer dakshina. It's a whole, it's a slightly different concept than we have in the West, which is, let me give something to get something. <laughs> it's kind of like from an offering from your heart. It's, it's not really tied to cause and effect so much, but they do these things because they want them to be powerful and they put all their heart and their love and they do this for their whole life. And so it's just great to come and see them and celebrate their artistry. It's just so yeah. beautiful to watch. So hope you can come. Enough for yeah, them. enough yeah. of that. I'm, I'm holding this Andara and it's like, I got oil. It's, it's, there's like an oil coming off of it. It's so, it's so odd today. This is, and this was one of my original ones from Lady Now that I've had for like 25 plus years. So I don't know. Something's going on with the Andaras. I'm holding it and there's an oil, an oil coming off of it. Who knew? Miracles abound. The nectar of the divine. We'll see where. Where she takes us today, or he, or it, or whatever it is, right? Right. Okay. Everybody is muted. I checked. I guess, I guess we're starting, huh? Yeah. All right. Everybody, just check your posture. Open up your toes. Open up your feet. Open up your pelvic floor if you're sitting on the ground. Begin to breathe and inhale. It's like you're breathing energy up. You're magnetizing and just tuning to. And with each in-breath, you're pulling energy up through your feet and through your pelvic floor. Just breathe it in. And notice where it goes. Just hold it for a second. Just kind of see where the energy settles in you. And then exhale it back down. You're just clearing right now. Clearing anything between you and Mother Earth. Breathing in, going a little deeper into Mother Earth and pulling, pulling. Holding. And did the energy kind of move up a little bit more up into your heart and your shoulders? And as you hold, it kind of charges a little bit, right? And then just exhale it back down. This time you're going all the way down to Mother Earth into the core. Pulling energy, leaving, uh, breathing in. And then lock it into your heart. Just lock it in. Let it rotate a little. Let it maybe even move your shoulders a little back and forth. Get a little figure eight going around your heart. A little butterfly kind of going. And then exhaling out into your orc field. We're going to continue just pulling in with the inhale from Mother Earth. Holding and going deeper and deeper and deeper in the heart. And when you feel fully charged, exhaling it out into your auric egg around you, exhale. One more time, breathing in. Holding into your heart. And gently exhaling into your auric field. And just relax your breathing and allow the new synchronicity, the new rhythm of your breathing to take over. Allow yourself to be breathed. While keeping your focus in your heart field. That's your only focus right now, your heart. What are you generating or what's generating within you? What are you, what are you aware of? What can you feel? You may even feel like your heart is kind of a 
a radiant fields of etheric energy. You may feel it even more like a plasma. And you can kind of bring your awareness around the circumference of that heart energy field. And at the same time, you can also penetrate and go deeper into the core. I want you to kind of go into the core. And as you're descending into the secret space within your heart, you're activating your feeling nature. So you're not only observing and going deeper into your heart, but you're feeling. You're just feeling the energies. So you've kind of got this soft, passive awareness of the whole of your heart field. And then you've got this part of you, this aspect that's going deeper, deeper, deeper into your own heart. And the breathing is moving in. It's almost as if gentle winds are blowing through your heart field. The prana is lighting the plasma of your heart, the etheric nature, the light fields. They may even start to feel kind of like some expansions, kind of like they're coming from inside of your heart outwards. Like little solar bursts, solar flares from your own heart. From the core of your heart, from the source space that you are connected to your I am. You literally kind of feel these exhales from source moving through the core of your heart and out through the different multi-dimensional fields of your heart. Reading the peripheral, moving into the periphery of the outer part of your heart and then just kind of sending beams, currents, waves, of golden plasma consciousness, electromagnetic core frequencies, divine mother source codes out in through your body template, out into your auric field, lighting up all 12 dimensions of your subtle body. You may have already noticed it's kind of like you are a sun. Or you could even change your perception and feel the sun is within you. You may even inquire which sun is in you. Is it your planetary sun? Soul sun? Solar system sun? Is it your Syrian sun? Great central sun? Galactic sun? And maybe as you begin to breathe deeper into the core and anchor your awareness even deeper there, you may notice that these different bands of the sun are within your heart. All stacked as one. And as you breathe through your own heart, you're breathing and informing through your own plasma, light body through your own light currents, 
electromagnetic frequencies, you're informing all these different layers of the galactic sun. And Mother Earth, when she becomes and ascends into her solar aspect, as Mother Tara, the galactic Gaia, And just keep breathing and allowing this chronic movement to generate plasmic fields within your heart. And you may feel these plasmic fields are interacting with your spine or your root chakra. Go ahead and ground your root chakra with the intention of opening it Spinning, spinning it clockwise. You may even feel it in your sacral chakra, your womb of creation. Have the intention to activate and energize. Again, spinning it clockwise. And as you do so, you'll see that the first and second chakras kind of merge and they open up the tailbone or the tail. You may feel like a the tailbone of the coccyx, kind of an energy coming out the, down or behind you. Or just imagine the two merging and bringing balance. The tail brings balance. It brings attunement and resonance. Brings grounding so that you're never you're always connected, always attuning to the different frequencies and always achieving balance, centeredness, groundedness. And the energy flows from you, through you, up from the core of Mother Earth. Through your root, through your sacral, through your solar plexus and into the core of your heart. And just notice, notice as you're breathing how the energy is flowing up into your light body. And as you exhale through the dimensions, all the different trees of life, galactic grids, solar consciousnesses, Just begin to be aware of your light body now, your, your auric field, your subtle bodies. You're pretty plugged in right now to the grid of Mother Earth and you're pretty open in your field. Just see that your auric field is charged, filled with light. You may even want to activate a little sparkling, a little illumination, some brilliance. There's this energy coming from the core of your heart and from the thread of Mother Earth, this energy of the silver white, pearlescent, and even call it like a platinum energy. This is your cord to the core through Mother Earth. But it's also the divine source code, the divine mother matrix, your 12th dimensional, multi-dimensional connection to source.
And as you feel that connection, you may notice your crown chakra opening, dialing open. Kind of feels like a little bit like a stargate. As you presence that 12th dimensional silver white plasmic immortality elixir light. And you run it through your heart from the purity of Mother Earth. Your crown chakra opens up. You may see it as a blue disc, or you may see it as a silver white disc. It's about four inches in diameter around your crown of your head. And as you breathe into that disc and make it more solidified in your awareness, you may notice your third eye is pulling energy or it's pulling the magnetism of your crown is pulling energy through the third eye, activating the third eye, activating your sixth strand of your DNA. And as the momentum of your crown begins to oscillate, it may feel like you're Like there's a helmet around around your head and there might be feeling like petals or cascade or rain. Some people call it memory codes, light. It's almost like a funnel opens up down into your pineal gland at the center of your brain. Through your medulla oblongata, through your throat, to your high heart into your heart field and take it and connect it all the way down into the source grid. You may feel like this golden, it's almost like a tornado that's emanating from the top of your heart around your pineal, around your crown and extending upwards I want to say 45 degrees, but it seems almost it's a little higher than that. There's this funnel of light, like a torch. Allow yourself to attune to it, to begin to resonate with that funnel, that frequency of your crown, heart, you may even feel your tail is attuned to it. And that silver white and blue disc is beginning to spin. It's almost as if the disc itself is creating another cylinder cyclical force field upwards and it's extending almost three quarters of a foot to a foot above your head. And it's generating this electromagnetic field between your crown and your soul star chakra. So just, there's a lot of things illumin, a lot of energies illuminating this particular activation of your soul star, crown, It's almost as if you're putting a, a feather about a foot above your head. You're just putting that feather, allowing this field to hold it about a foot above your head. There's nothing really for you to do, but just presence and breathe. And allow the core of your heart to generate the fields. And for you to just relax and surrender. Surrender to your authentic self, your authentic flow.
You may feel your high heart opening. You may feel your throat opening. I should say they're already open, but you may feel them intensifying. You can kind of have a passive overview of all of your chakra system. Now they're all open and spinning, awake and shining. And as you breathe, the energy is flowing up and through you and out through your chakras, all of them. As you're pouring out or emanating this source code diamond light, Divine feminine love field around you through all of your chakras. And just take a moment. We're going to just be in silence to allow you to enjoy the interchange. And on your next inhale, we're going to inhale together and synchronize. Breathe into your heart and present your heart. So breathing in. Holding deep within the core, allowing this charge. And bring your awareness to your crown. That disc, that silver white blue disc. And exhale it out and expand it. We're going to continue to expand, breathing into the heart and then expanding through the crown. Breathing in. And exhale. And on the third exhale, there's a group soul that we're tapping into. So I want you to expand your Awareness so that you're feeling at the group soul level, breathing in. Charge, charge, and then exhaling through your crown. Good. You may have felt like a, a collective disc. But you also may have felt at an individual level, you may have felt like an auric field above your crown to your soul star, like a little twisting. Mini energetic field. A water spout.
So we're tuning into that energetic field and we're breathing life into it. We're resurrecting it. So breathe into your heart. And from your crown up into the soul star, exhale. Into the space between your soul star and your crown. Breathing in. Hold. And just gently exhale. And exhale now. Notice how it's expanding one more time. Breathing in. Holding at the core of your heart. Exhaling. You may notice it kind of popped, all of us together popped, and there was like a a group soul star. So you're aware of your individual not, and your group soul, crown and soul star chakras, and the inner communication, that spinning vortex that's connecting both. And as you breathe, you're going to become more and more aware of the collective, the unified, the one monadic being that we are, that is. Our group soul star. And as you tune into, you may feel more light coming in. That's how you kind of know you're, oh yeah, I'm locked in. My monadic self is aware of us and flowing our codes to us and through us, through our grids at home, through the grids of Mother Earth and into the core. And now bring your awareness to your soul star chakra. And it's just a very soft, like the, like you're tuning into that feather that's a foot above your head. And underneath of it, you've got this swirling holographic water spout energy, silver white. And I want you to tap into your galactic dragon self. There's a go. Each one of you is connected to source at a dragon level. Basically, you're calling your dragon. from your fifth dimensional platform. You already noticed it. As soon as you called, your dragon showed up, whether you saw it in full form or you just saw it as an energetic landing. And allow your dragon essence sitting on its perch above your head to be encoded and encoding your crown, the soul star, energetic field. And you may notice that the soul star begins to extend above and around your dragon. 
and the consciousness of your soul star merges with the constant constant uh, consciousness of your dragon. This is your 12th dimensional dragon. Your divine blueprint. And see if you can play in presence your dragon. Maybe your dragon wants to extend its wings. Fly a little, flutter. And notice how that affects your energy field. You may even notice your angelic wings also activating, opening. And as you tuned into your dragon, see if you can sense your dragon's tail. Is it up in the air? Is it down? Is it swaying back and forth? Is it whipping? And how is that informing your own coccyx energetic tail? Notice your dragon's breathing. And literally feel your dragon breathing, taking in prana, taking in life force. The life force, the force of life itself. You may feel it moving around in the lungs of your dragon, or you may feel it moving through its torso, its body. You may even feel the lungs expanding of your dragon. Notice how it informs your light body. That's it, the front of your chest may be opening up, your shoulders may be coming back and round, up and back and down. You may even feel your ribs expanding. You may even feel the life force itself moving through your heart, moving through your blood, moving through the cells, and the mitochondria, all the way down into the DNA. Silver white DNA. Literally breathing into action. Allow your dragon to breathe for you. Literally just stop breathing. And when the energy starts to breathe again, you'll feel like you've somehow embodied your dragon. You can see through the dragon's eyes. And they may not be physical eyes. 
What spectrums are you seeing through? And as you continue to breathe, you may notice how kind of synced up, not only above you with your dragon, but the dragon is now surrounding you or you are inside of your dragon. Your body may feel like it's expanded. 10, 15, 50 feet. whatever you feel comfortable in embodying. And there's this current that's coming up silver to your silver white cord. It's current from mother earth. It's her love. It's funneling up through your pranic tube, your antakarana, through your root chakra, into your heart, and out into your dragon essence. It's as if you're the consciousness, the akash of Mother Earth recognizes your dragon signature and is holding that pattern for you to be, for you to embody fully all of your source dragon angelic DNA codes, fire light codes, plasmic light codes, diamond light codes. Take a deep breath into the torso, your upper chest. Feel your dragon's heart. There's kind of a sense of pride in your dragon. You may even feel your heart kind of moving back and forth. The power in your torso. love of the Divine Mother. And you may even start to recognize yourself as an emanation of the Divine Feminine Dragon Source Code. Just begin to breathe it in. Take it in as deep into your cells, into your chakras, into your spine, into your heart. You may just gently whisper in your heart, I and Divine Mother are one. I am hers. She is mine. We are one. And as you feel her as one with you, you may notice our collective Divine Mother Dragon. And how you're calling her back to her rightful place here in the morphogenetic field of Mother Earth. Her 
breathe her into existence, call her home. You may birth her or breathe her through your root and through your sacred sacral chakra. Allowing her to ground the grid of Mother Earth. And actually even feel your legs, her legs, her feet touching down energetically driving her feet down deep into the core of Mother Earth. As she anchors her tail into Mother Earth, drops her feet into the core. Just feel that she's landed here through you, through us. Fully alive, fully vibrant. With your next breath, pull the energy up from the core of Mother Earth into your heart, breathing in. Following the energy into your heart field, see that you've landed back into your physical body. You can pull in your dragon as far as you wish. If you wish for your dragon essence to remain at your soul star chakra. Just have that intention. Staying open and allowing your soul star to continue to shine. Just bring your energy back now fully into your work field, fully into your heart. See yourself landing in your spine. You can see your energy landing in your bones, pelvic, your feet, and your root, your tail.
Begin to notice your breathing into your lungs, the undulation of your chest. And just bringing your hands in namaste in front of your heart. Bowing to our group monadic, higher self, divine mother, great central sun. Landing now fully into your body, to your nervous system. And when you feel like you've landed, open your feet and hands and just slowly open your eyes. Wow. Namaste. Om Namah Shivaya. Have a blessed, blessed day. Thank you for coming. That's our dog snoring. I guess the Divine Mother Dragon put put her right to sleep. So it wasn't me if you could hear the snoring. And uh, we will be back next weekend. So loving you all. Thank you for all the beautiful work you're doing. Hopefully we'll see you in August, if not before. And um, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.